We're gonna be making hot skidongo amabiyami. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Ambitious Ken, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make hot ski dongo ski jama piano right here on Castic 3 for beginners. Yes, guys, this is the tutorial you guys have been waiting for for a very long time. It's here now, guys. And, guys, the good news is that I'm going to be giving away this hot ski dongo ama piano project file to you guys for free. Yes, guys, absolutely for free. But, guys, before you download this hot ski dongo ama piano project file, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like this video because in this video i'm going to be giving you guys the unlock password for this hot ski dongo ski jama piano project file okay guys let's get right into today's hot ama piano tutorial okay guys so what i started by doing to make this hot ski jama piano beat right here on Castic 3 is that i started at my first beatbox which sounds like this amazing percussions over here guys so i have this percussion i have a shaker loop in here i have a snare i have this eq shaker over here i have them do trp conga and i have another do trp conga i have a snare and i have this nice perk guys all in all they sound like this amazing guys they sound really nice so moving on to my next instrument, I have my strings, which look like this in the level section. Nice guys. So basically what I used here guys are the sauna strings. I used the sauna strings and I actually tripled them as you can see by using this higher note, middle note and the lower note. And this is how they sound like. If I could increase the volume. nice guys so i'm quickly gonna put them back down there amazing guys amazing so my next instrument i have my pad x if i can increase the volume nice guys they sound really nice and this is how they look like in the level section and this is the note I played. Nice and smooth note over here, guys. So my next instrument that I've used here are the soft lock drums, which sound like this. Nice and amazing lock drums over here, guys. So basically, that's how my Skidongo lock drums sound like. Very well played, guys. So moving on to my next lock drums, I have the lock twos, which means my second lock drums. And basically what I did here is that I used this lock drum, which sounds a little bit hard on the start and then becomes smooth in the middle and at the end. This is how my second lock drum sounds like with combined with my first lock drum so let's hear that guys nice guys they sound really nice this time it sounds a little bit punchy which is quite good and dope for the skitongo genre so moving on to my next instrument i have my boxes and basically what I did here is that I used the C4 note for the vocals. And this is how they look like in the level section. And this is how they sound like that. Nice guys, they sound extremely cool. So moving on to my next instrument, I have my bass too nice and smooth bass over here guys so basically what i did on this bass drum here is that i used it so that it can actually make my lock drums hit even harder guys so let me play it yeah. 
amazing guys this bass play actually makes my lock drums to hit harder guys so that's the main objective of it that's why i put it here guys amazing so moving on to my other lock drum this is actually my fourth lock drum over here which sounds like this amazing lock drum over here guys that was a smooth one so this is how the lock drum sounds like in the level section just a smooth hard lock drum over here guys so basically the job that this lock drum does is that it makes the lock drum section of the beat to hit harder guys so this is like a hard lock drum so that it can add in that nice good vibes to the beat guys so moving on to my next instrument i have my chords which I used to play the piano roll with so this is how they sound like amazing guys amazing charts over here and basically what I did to my charts is that I used this lower note here to give me the deep sound and i use actually use this lighter sound too guys and what i actually did here is that i used let's say i have this instrument over here i'm gonna click where it says note over here and then i'm gonna use this knob here to lower this so that it can be lighter just like that guys so that's what i actually did to my top keys over here guys and then i just left the lower keys the way they were that's why they have that nice dark color with them so i hope you guys have learned on how to do that to the keys and stuff so nicely done guys moving on to my next instrument i have my grand piano which you actually find right here on casting 3 and this is how it sounds like in the level section nice and dark guys so this is the role that my piano grand plays let me quickly solo them so that we can only hear them nicely done guys so that's how they sound like i actually took what i did in here and pasted it in here so that's what i basically did to the pianos and guys this is how you find the piano that i used you just click the plus button over here you go to pcm synth on that green thing over there and then we're gonna click it this time we're not gonna go into the level we're gonna go with say select instrument we're gonna go with says real and then i go into pen grand over here guys we're gonna say load that's how you find the grand piano right here on Castic 3 guys hope you guys have learned on how to do that too so moving on to my next instrument guys i have my other voxes which sound like this amazing voxes over here guys and this is how they look like in the level section and guys this is how they sound like with the whole beat let me quickly unmute that piano grand and then this is what we have now guys five amazing guys if i could switch off this piano and this chart this is what we have nice guys that sounds really amazing so what i have here lastly are my long mixer reverses to mix up everything and make everything sound professional and awesome so this is the role that my long mixer reverse plays so let me quickly go and unmute the things that i pressed mute on and basically guys this is what we call muting something and then this is what we call 
soloing something that's what they're actually called so we're gonna go here on the pattern and then we're gonna play where there is a long mixer reverse so that you can hear the difference that my long mixer reverse does okay guys let me play that amazing guys this sounds really fire by the way low-key stuff amazing guys that's how you make a hot skidongo ama piano type beat right here on Castic 3 since a lot of you guys said i should also make the exact type of a beat on Castic 3 too just like i did on fo studio mobile here it is guys hope you guys are happy for this as i'm happy for this okay guys make sure that you don't forget to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button so that you cannot miss out on any of my hot upcoming tutorials that i'm gonna be releasing guys because i'm gonna be releasing the best hottest i'm gonna be on tutorials like never before guys peace see you on the next tutorial okay.